FIFA 20 is out, and if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team coins to get your dream squad, make sure you check out my sponsor, u7buy.com. They provide a cheap and reliable service for coins and accounts. Link in the description. Use code to Haber and get yourself an extra 5% off when you are at the checkout. Yo, what's up, lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the quickest way to get loyalty on your players on FIFA 20. Now, quick FAQ about loyalty and what you, what is loyalty may be asking. Loyalty is the easiest and only way, apart from having a manager, to get plus one chemistry on your player. So if you have loyalty in your player, you get an extra point of chemistry on that player, whether it be for an SBC or a squad, both get plus one uh, chemistry. And you'll see there's actually a little shield uh, typically um, on the play. You see down at the bottom of the player there, you see he's got a shield and a little manager logo. If the shield is green, he's got loyalty. As you'll see with these bronze players here, the shield is green. And uh, if the manager is green, as you see here, you have a manager link as well. So um, in order to get the loyalty, uh, you do have to either play 10 games on the player or have him pack pulled. Now, 10 games is quite a long amount of games. It's quite a lot of games. Uh, there is really easy ways to get that done. Now, first of all, you can just go into a game and raid quit all the games. That will give you 10 losses on your record. This glitch shows you how to do it in record time without getting any losses on your record. Now, I am doing it on PlayStation right now, so I'll be doing the tutorial on PlayStation. However, on Xbox, it's practically the same thing, and I'll teach you how to do it on Xbox verbally. Um, it should be really easy for you, guys, for you Xbox users. The reason I'm showing you on PlayStation because I feel like it's the more popular console. Without further ado, though, let's actually show you guys how to do the glitch. So as you'll see, all of my players right now need contracts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add one contract to every single player, show you guys that it's going to take away one game uh, and add on one game to their loyalty. So all of them have seven games played right now every single player i'm going to add a, co a contract to them they're going to get eight games by the end of this and i'm going to show you guys literally how long it takes it takes like no time at all so i'll see you guys when i've added contracts to all these players so now every player has one contract remaining on them still only have seven games to show you guys that i'm not cheating this and that i'm just showing you guys how to do it so what you want to do is and now this is the annoying part about this for now, for some reason, some people can't challenge the Team of the Week in squad battles. I have no idea why. Um, you just cannot challenge the Team of the Week. So you have to do this via normal squad battles, meaning if you want to play your squad battles games right now, you're going to have to relinquish a few games in order to get loyalty if you want to do this glitch. Because there isn't actually any other way. They've removed like online singles and stuff like that. Uh, sorry, offline single player, even should I say. So uh, they've kind of removed that. So you now have to do it in squad battles. So select any difficulty you want. We'll go ahead and select professional, as you saw, uh, and go into the game as normal. You don't want to do anything apart from just going to your game as normal select as you'd normally be going to a game and uh, and load into a squad battles game it doesn't matter what team you're playing what difficulty you're playing just go into a normal squad battles game um, and it's really as easy and as simple as that and we just wait now until the game loads up so game's loaded up we are in the game we want to go ahead and skip everything here and we are a kick off let your opponent kick off and if you're kicking off you want to actually kick off and play a couple of seconds once you've played a few seconds press your middle button this is the same for xbox go up to your network setting things and for playstation untick this box and tick it again if you're on xbox then test your nat type um both work equally as well and you'll get a message as soon as you go back into fifa saying you've lost your connection to the ea servers sign back in to access online features you want to just click x on that and it'll take you all the way back to the main menu um where you can just load in fifa again like i said it doesn't take long at all i think it takes about 90 seconds per like one game so realistically it's gonna take about 10 minutes roughly to do 10 games maybe a little bit longer than that if you're uh if you're struggling with it but it'll take you into ultimate team as normal and as soon as you get into ultimate team you'll notice you don't have a single loss on my record because it doesn't take any losses on your record and you'll notice that everyone now needs contracts again because their contracts have run out they've added an extra uh game onto their toll without it affecting my record so eight games played now on all the players and it's not affecting my record it's going to take you about 10 minutes roughly to do this method to get 10 games of loyalty um, and you'll have loyalty on all your plays. It's the quickest method I've ever found. I don't think there's a single quickest method uh, that's quicker than this. Uh, so make sure you like the video if it's helped you. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Don't give me support. Leave a comment down below if this video was helpful. And I'll see you lads later.